get is on default setting. By default, UPA sets the primary code for debtor to 3000 and the primary code for creditor to 4000. However, if you do not wish to adopt the default numbering scheme, UPS allows you to redefine the primary code. Once the code is set up, the system will automatically ensure that all data and creditor accounts uses the correct primary code. To change the default setting, select Housekeeping, Run Setup, General Setting. You will find the default setting under the debtor's accounts groups and the creditor account groups. To change the default setting for data from 3000 to your required numbering scheme, merely override it. In this case, I'll change it to 3500 and 3500. And for my creditor, I'll change it to 4500 to 4500. Once you have set those numbers, any debtor and creditor account that's been created outside this number, number range for the primary code will receive an error message. When you have completed, select OK. The next topic we'll look at is on grouping of accounts. The primary code of the account code is also used to group accounts together. As you can see in this chart of account, all the fixed asset related accounts have got the same primary code, which in this case is 2000. Assuming that your business operates on three bank accounts, Bank AAA, Bank BBB and Bank CCC. There are two ways to set up the accounts that correspond to the three banks. The first method is to assign individual primary code to each of the bank. In this case, code 3011 to bank AAA, 3012 to bank BBB, and 3013 to bank CCC. Setting up the accounts in this manner means that when you generate the balance sheet report, the three accounts will appear as individual entry in the balance sheet with their own individual corresponding balances. Alternatively, you could set up the three accounts to have the same primary code. To do that, you set up an account first with the primary code, for example, 3010 with 000 as a secondary code. That will be the control account. And for each of the bank, you then assign a different secondary code. So 001 for bank AAA, 002 for bank BBB, and 003 for bank CCC. Setting up the account this way, in effect you are grouping the three bank accounts under the control account of 3010000. When you go and look into the balance sheet report, You will notice that the total of the three bank accounts is now rolled under one entry called the bank, and that represents the total balance of the three bank accounts. When you group the account in this manner, you can always request to get a breakdown of the individual balance of the accounts that makes up the group by using the print a group option from the report menu. You supp supply the account number, which in this case is 3010, press OK. As you can see, the three bank accounts is now shown individually with their own individual balance to make up the total of 6000 as you've seen in the balance sheet reports. The last topic we'll look at is on the setup of sample chart of account by industry. UBS provides templates to set up default chart of account depending on your industry. This will save you time in setting up your ledger. To generate a sample chart of account, select on the housekeeping option 7, clear files and generate sample chart of account. There are three options available. In this case, we'll select option 3, which is the one that will generate the sample chart. As you can see, there are several industry templates as provided in UBS. You need to select the one that describes the industry that you're in based. In this case, I will select a trading company and then you just press OK. This will start the uh, process to generate you the sample chart of account. Once it's completed, press OK. To view the chart that you have just generated, you go into General, Print Chart of Accounts. 
select OK. As you can see, this is a sample chart of account for a trading type company. Congratulations, you now understand the account structure and know how to set up the chart of account using the UBS software.